Hey, how you doing? I hope you like what we do here with a WooCommerce product. Now, this is a screen that you're probably going to be very much used to. We are using Elementor Pro and WooCommerce single product template. You know, the standard, you got your quantity, your button, your title, your short description or whatever you want. You got your image and then you have your thumbnails here. Now, this is what you're going to be very much used to. If you were to now kind of move your mouse over, you get a bit of a zoom effect, which I have to say I never really like because it doesn't really zoom that much. And if you want to zoom out and see more of the product, you got to go and click here. You can't click anywhere here. You have to click on the magnifying glass and then you can close it down. But when you go down here to the thumbnails, hovering doesn't do anything other than you've got to click it, number one, and then if you want to actually zoom in, you've got to then hit the magnifying glass again. So I always find that this kind of effect is a little bit limiting. Also, I find this quite boring. Now, there's lots of other plugins and themes and things you can use to make this look a whole lot better, but let me show you a different way of presenting it. This is basically the same product in a way. And what we now have here is the pro I mean, look, this is what it was like originally. Okay, that's what it was originally. And this is what we got now. Slightly, I've modified the size a little bit here just so you could see the bottom of this. Otherwise, the banner would have hidden it below there. But we've got an image. I can click it and it expands. I don't have to be in the top corner now. I can click over here and it expands out for me. I got my description, all of that. We also have a video and we also have a sliding auto scroll carousel, which will pause when I hover over it. I can click any one of these at any time. Look, I can just go, look, click, and it opens up for me. I can slide backwards or forwards and we have a video. By the way, the sound on here I've muted out, but this is a video that's playing. So if you imagine now you're trying to present information back to someone because you want to convert them to buy the product, this is a little bit more exciting or more visual than that. Okay. Um, now, how did I do all of this? Really, really easy and simple. Now, there are, you, you, if you're going to have the video, I recommend you go and get the Presto Player plugin, which is this one here. You can get it for free. I know there's a warning here, but it works completely fine, okay, and you can get this for free. Why am I using Presto Player? Quite simply, let me just get rid of this, it's because it removes the YouTube branding that you normally would have got when you add in a YouTube video. So if you don't want to see the words YouTube and the title at the top and everything, this is how you want to do it. Let's just quickly go over the video. Got Presto Player installed. You want to then go down here to Media Hub, click that, and then click Add New. I've already added it in. The important bit is the short code, and I'll show you how we use that. You click Add New, give it a title, Let's just do a fake one there. We could go to YouTube or Vimeo or wherever you're getting the video, paste it in, then click add video. And you will have noticed the YouTube um, title at the top there. It's disappeared because automatically this is now using the default layout. I'm going to go here and click the minimal one that you can just see below me. That now gives me just the play button. If you go for simple, you get the play and the bar as well at the bottom to control it. But I'm going to go for just minimal. And then all you do is hit publish. There's the video we just created. And I've got the short code Presto Player 670. This will be important in a moment. The second thing you want to do, do, do is really how do I get the video to be present within the product? And also how I did the carousel. I'm going to come to that in a moment. If we go back over to my product, down here I have a custom field called ACF Products Video, and this is where I dropped in the short code. So the new one was 670, you would have put in 670 into there. So how did I get this custom field? Well, if you're used to using custom fields, you don't need the post type for this because I'm just adding it to the product. This is the advanced custom field uh, plugin that you can get for free. What you do is install it. You then want to add a new group, which I've called ACF products. If I edit that, I only have one field. This field is a text field. Now you might sort of go, oh, shouldn't it be a video field? No, it's a text field because I'm dropping in a short code, which is going to return the video. That is literally all it is. It is just a text field, right? That would then add, well, I know it will add it because we've already added it. It then adds this field in. So for every product, you could now have a different video. So if you want to help your advertising, maybe it's more about the product, the benefits, the uses. This is a great way to do it. So that's all we had to do. And then you go and update your product. 
Now let's actually go into the design of how this page was set up. It's a single product template. You know, you have your product title, you got your product uh, content over here. You have your product price, you have your add to cart. This is basically everything that you would have got over here anyway. So if you want, you could just create a brand new single product template. Just use one of the templates, Elementor or whatever you wanna use. But the clever bit then comes as to what we're gonna do here. This is not, by the way, let me just show you. Over here originally, you'll be using the product images. The product images will bring over the thumbnails as well, but I don't want the thumbnails the way they are. So I deleted that and instead, all I did was bring over the featured image. The featured image automatically is gonna bring over the featured image or the main product image for the product. Again, really, really simple. And then all you gotta do is make sure it's linked to the media file, which is why when you click anywhere on it, you're gonna get that light box effect over there. Below, I just dropped in a short code. Now, you might think, well, shouldn't you just drop in the video? No, this is the clever bit, okay? I've dropped in a short code, and let me just get rid of it over here so you can see what I've done. I've dropped in a short code widget. And then I've said the contents of that widget, okay, are gonna be a dynamic tag. You then scroll down until you get to ACF field. And then from the ACF field, I'm gonna pick my video. Because in the product, remember, in here, there's the short code. That's the text field. So over here, we're gonna pull in a short code widget and populate it with the contents of that video field which contains the short code in the product. Does that make sense? Really simple, isn't it? Then over here, all I have is an image carousel. This is the image carousel widget, okay, which is this one over here. There we go. I mean, all I've done is populate that with the thumbnail, but how did I get the thumbnail in? Again, look what we've got over here. Product gallery. Let me just hit the X over there. Rather than adding in, in images, you click the dynamic stack and then over here you have product gallery. The product gallery automatically does not bring over the featured image, the main image. So I've got my main image there and then I've got my gallery. Now, you could set this up to be however you want in terms of sizing, how many slides you show. I only had two thumbnail images there, so I only showing two. If I wanted to go for more, you could obviously go for more and then it starts to affect your size. Let's put that back to two. But here's the really, really important bit. Look at the settings that I have over here. I have set the speed to be zero and the animation speed to be three and a half thousand, okay? Look at that, look at what I've done there. You can imitate that or you can do it your own, but how did I get it to auto scroll? Well, if you go to the advanced tab, scroll down, I've then added in that little bit of CSS. That's how simple and easy it is. That will be in the video description. You can add that to any testimonial image carousel, basically anything that is a carousel, basically, all right? You can add that in and it creates that auto scroll effect. And just to reassure you, I can go the other way as well, all right? You can go whichever way you want. You still have the navigation arrows and the dots if you want. You can also remove them. But the key bit is I can just go like that and it opens up. Whereas here, you gotta click it. Oh, I wanna zoom in a little bit. You can hover over it, but I just, you know, I, I wanna see all of it in one go. You have to click that. So it's like X, you gotta hover, you gotta click, hover, click. Whereas here it's just click like that. So this is another way of presenting a single product template on a page with a video, some extra stuff. Obviously, below you would have other items like your bigger description, your additional tabs, all of that. I'm just showing you the upper bit, which I always feel is the most important aspect. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.